morning to everybody. We're here, we're in Jerusalem. And I'm here today, this morning, with Ian, who's our fantastic tour guide. He's been leading us around over the last few days, and now he's going to be leading us around through the city of Jerusalem. So I just wanted to wonder, what I wanted to ask you, is there anything you're especially looking forward to today? Well, today is the uh, city of Jerusalem. We'll be walking through the different parts of the city, heading this morning to meet with the bus and to go further up toward the, the Temple Mount or where the Muslim shrines are. Like next door from there is the wedding wall, uh, a holy place for the Jewish people. Then later on we will have the chance to go to one of the oldest cities uh, of or part of the city of Jerusalem dates back from the time of the Canaanite period, from the time of King David, the city of Jerusalem during that period. Yeah, be some walk for the people, but I'm sure for the last couple of days they were doing very fine and I'm looking forward for today as well, with this beautiful weather. Unusual kind of weather, being reserved only for this group who are coming <laughs> from back in America. Well, we appreciate the fact you ordered us the good weather. That's yeah, great, yeah. And it should be a great day. So we're Thank looking you. forward to it. Yes, we are looking forward for that. So we're here now at the Western Wall, this truly holy and solemn spot. We see Jewish men and women down there praying at the wall. And really this is, it's an ancient place, but also a modern place. We, we get to see what was the ancient temple. That's why they're here. It's the wall of the ancient temple, but for, for centuries and centuries now, it's been a place where people have come to offer their prayers. Our pilgrims have had the chance to do that and had the chance to, to offer their prayer intentions and yours. And so we continue certainly to enjoy these spots, but also to remember to pray as well. Following our powerful and prayerful experience at the wall, we had the chance to go up on the Temple Mount. The plaza is currently revered by Muslims as the Al-Aqsa Mosque, one of their holiest sites that includes the striking Dome of the Rock. This mount, however, has a complex history, being a sacred site connected in different and important ways to Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. Next, we walk to the City of David, the ancient city of Jerusalem. We witnessed the fascinating excavation of the land of King David's time and had the chance to hike our way through the Canaanite Tunnel, a narrow passage that scholars date back to the time of the Canaanites nearly 4,000 years ago. The tunnel led us over toward the Pool of Siloam, the pool originally built by King Hezekiah that features prominently in John's Gospel account of Jesus smearing clay on the eyes of a man born blind in order to heal him. Finally, we were back on the bus to visit Ein Karem, where we were blessed to visit the Church of the Visitation and the Church of John the Baptist. This was the land to which Mary went in haste to visit her cousin Elizabeth and to prepare with her for the births of John and Jesus. And it was the place today where we celebrated our Holy Mass. beautiful for us to find, I think, in just this notion of Mary at the beginning of this story, reaching out to her cousin, reaching out really, we could say, to just someone else. Because this is the beginning, right? This is the beginning of this incredible godly tale. And you'd think in, in the story of God, in this, you know, origin story of our faith, 
you think it would want to start with a strong character who can do anything and be anything and wouldn't need the help of anyone. From almost moment one, we find a character like Mary immediately reaching out and seeking help and support and care and love from others. And it's this beautiful example for us, I think, of well, the fact that we're supposed to do that. So here we are at the, the end of another fantastic day. I'm here with some of our wonderful pilgrims. Do you want to share who you are? Yes, Amelia, Amelia Elves, and my husband, Duart. And where are we're you from? From Beacon Falls. Fantastic. Connecticut. So, Connecticut. Well, we're from I'm Connecticut. From yeah, we all came from New York. It's <laughs> well, Connecticut. Well, we had the chance to go to some really interesting and beautiful places today. Uh, early in the day, we got to go to the, the Western Wall, this, this ancient wall of the old temple. Did you have any thoughts about getting to, to go there and pray there? Yes, it's it's like a dream come true, really. It's uh, you know just knowing that Jesus walked there and the, and, the, and the temple, you know, the old temple, the, you know, the original. It's you still have, you know, half of the wall, well, a little bit of the, the wall, wall yeah. part of the wall. Um, just the significance of it, uh, you know, the, you know, the whole trip, just walking in the steps where Jesus walked. It's just it's just amazing, absolutely. And that's where we place the. Uh, you know, we placed the prayers, our prayers. Yeah. 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 It's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful opportunity, I think, yes. for all of us to get to go yes. down there individually. Prayer. You know, we're doing a lot as a group, but it was kind of this individual moment yeah. to be able to go there and, and pray and offer whatever was our intention. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. So yeah. we did that early, and then you know we did a bunch of things throughout so the day, things. but we ended up we ended up uh, getting to go to the Church of the Visitation. Uh, which I thought was a beautiful and powerful place to be. Um, I don't know. Uh, what did you think about that? Wow, powerful is 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 a word. You know, it's it's it was really powerful and beautiful. Um, you know, the I mean, just knowing that Our Lady was there. You know, and you could envision I was there. You just close your eyes and you kind of picture her visiting her cousin there. And just, yeah, you just, you, you uh, certainly uh, can imagine so much more which probably took place uh, a number of things that you may imagine you could not unless you were there as we were it, it just brings it to you closer and much more meaningful uh, in such a way that uh, you cannot really explain unless you you visit you go there i think it really is this beautiful opportunity we have to for all of us to learn more every day, to experience it, to, to witness these these places, um, and allow that to to just get in here um, yeah, and, and touch us. And it's been yeah. beautiful to get to do that in these places, um, and really throughout the course of all these days to get to share that uh, with one another and, and with you as well. So thank you, thank you very much. You know, this was great. And thank you all for, for joining us again for another day.